guys, what's going on? It is Cynical, and today for you guys, I have a different sort of video. Um, today I sort of wanted to talk about uh, sort of a specific topic, and that's talking about what you see on the internet um, you shouldn't always believe. Um, now, I suppose you could say that could relate to my content, but, you know, for me personally, I'm not someone who claims, you know, who says, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out <clears throat> this date, and this is what's going to be on it. I go off sheer speculation, rumors, and, you know, all of that sort of stuff. But we have an absolute, I would say, handful of different sort of uh, gaming websites and sort of news uh, report websites that, you know, review sort of, um, or report news for techie sort of stuff and games and stuff like that. And for Kingdom Hearts 3, that's no exception. We have a ton of different game websites and stuff like that and news sites that report in news day after day after day. Now, uh, these can be sites like K-Pop Drama Stars, uh, The Christian Post, and the one that I'm going to talk about in today's video is VC Post. Now, from time to time, I do these videos uh, talking about the type of bullshit that these people put on their website. And what I'm saying is, guys, don't get led astray from the stuff that they put on here. Because these websites always claim to know when the release date is. They always claim to know what certain features are. They claim to believe that Marvel and Star Wars are confirmed, different worlds are confirmed, and stuff like that. You shouldn't always believe these guys. If you want news, uh, go to um, KH13 or KH Insider. That's where you're going to get your news from. Also, from me, myself, as well as the other key keepers, we will give you guys the legit news. We will tell you what is legit and what is not legit, whether it's speculation or rumors. However, anyway, uh, on Ask FM, someone uh, linked me this post, and um, you'll see, uh, you know, you, you'll you'll see um, the pictures and stuff on the screen right now. Now, this post is talking about me. I'm involved in a post, yay! Um, but it's not so yay. So. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to read you uh, these three paragraphs and um, something actually down the bottom. But anyway, we'll read the three paragraphs and then we'll discuss about it because this is actually quite funny. Um, so, a slew, uh, a slew of rumor on the Kingdom Hearts 3 release date has emerged online that a leakster, a leakster, oh, a leakster, right, has cracked the secret HTML code in Game Developer Square Enix official website. Okay, the grammar and stuff is not really that great. Anyway, revealing that the new gameplay trailer will be launched at the E3 2015 conference. Hmm, I wonder who this leakster is, correct? I wonder who it is. Could it be me? Anyway, next paragraph. YouTube user named The Game Is Joint. Me? is reported to have discovered a secret logo in the HTML code in the official Kingdom Hearts 3 website prompting the fans of a release date announcement. Already you guys have heard some stuff in what they're saying is just complete bullshit. Straight away, just complete bullshit. The same leakster, I'm now known as a leakster, that's me, the leakster, right? That's what I'm now known as, guys. You gotta call me the leakster from now on, because that's what they think. The leaksters also claimed that the new gameplay trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 will be released at the upcoming E3 2015 conference this June. So let's talk about the contents of these three paragraphs, okay? Now, apparently, I have cracked the secret HTML code. Of course, I did a video a few days ago talking about um, how I randomly just came across a Kingdom Hearts 3 logo in the HTML code. From what they're saying here, they're trying to make it out to be like I'm sort of some supreme hacker that's cracked the Da Vinci code and found out every last secret of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, this is what they're, this is really what they're, you know, saying. What they what's misleading about this is they've said, um, website revealing that the new gameplay trailer will be launched at the, uh, the E3 concert, uh, conference in this June. <sighs> so, they're saying that the secret logo and the stuff inside the HTML code has apparently going to, you know, is going to reveal that the new trailer is going to be revealed at E3. Bullshit. Bullshit, 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 okay? 
The next thing in the second paragraph, they talk about how um, how I found a secret logo in the HTML code, and apparently the website is prompting the fans of a release date announcement. Okay, where on the HTML code inside of it or on the website does it prompt fans that there is going to be a release date announcement? Where? Nowhere. Nowhere. It's simply a logo made out of different characters on a keyboard. There is no clues, there is no evidence, there is nothing on that website stating that there is going to be a trailer, uh, a gameplay trailer shown at E3. I don't doubt that there is not going to be, but nothing in that website there says that there is going to be. And on top of that, a release date announcement. A release date announcement. So, that sort of stuff, it, it, it gets to me, the reason why, I, I don't give a shit that they're calling me a leakster, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to pretty much say, do not believe everything you read, especially on these sort of websites, because I know a lot of people type in Kingdom Hearts, then click on the news section on Google, and then they go through the different articles. Also, another thing that really grinds my gears is the very last paragraph, Initially confirmed at E3 2013, Kingdom Hearts 3's release date for PS4, Xbox One consoles is said to have been pushed back from a mid-year to later this year, um, so as to provide more time handling technical and development concerns. Apparently, at E3, what they're saying, E3 2014, when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced, that Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be released in 2015, that's what they're saying. And the fact that it's not coming out mid-year this year, but later on this year. Guys, please, please, a lot of you guys come to me and you link me these sort of things, and I know the person who came to me on Ask FM, they weren't linking me saying, oh my god, these guys know the release date. He was saying, you know, look at this, because this is utter shit, because it is. Um, but please, guys, I'm, I've, I've already told you this in the past, and I like to do these videos talking about this, because this sort of shit is just, it's shit. It really is shit. Um, but what I'm saying is, do not take Kingdom Hearts information off these websites. These websites are absolutely cancerous. They really are. They're cancerous to the Kingdom Hearts community, to people, um, you know, people that aren't really up to speed, you know, people that sort of will read this and they'll be like, oh my god, oh my god, is because some people actually believe this stuff and I think it's pretty bad. And I know some of you guys come to me on Twitter and you're like, uh, you know, look at this cynical, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying to you guys right now, do not read these websites. They are nothing but utter shit. Also, I wanted to um, commend and say thank you. Uh, someone in the comment section of this article, I, I commend you, dude, thank you to this guy. Um, he commented, the game is joint. Oh, oh shit! My uh, my my page sort of just reloaded here. Give me one sec. Okay, the game is joint in no way, shape, or form mentioned that the hidden code was related to a new trailer. Thank you. I didn't. Did I say that? No. Okay. So apparently, this article believes I did. He hasn't linked anything. He's just another fan like the rest of us. This article was fun to read because it was so garbage. That could not be any more accurate. That comment right there. Um. You know, I don't care if these articles are going to, you know, sort of claim that I'm saying this, this, and that because I didn't even say anything about a release date or anything about how the, it, it prompts that the Kingdom Hearts trailer is going to be shown at E3 in that video. I didn't say that. I said, um, of course, I've, I've said that I believe that we're probably going to see a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer at E3. I do have a good feeling about it. But yeah. Anyway, the point of this video is to show you guys this shit, because it really is shit. These websites are not good whatsoever. Stay away from them. The VC Post, the one that I'm showing you guys right now, Christian Post, K-pop drama stars, all those sites, just don't, don't do them. Don't, don't do them. KH13, KH Insider, stick to those guys. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. I'm working on my 50,000 um, subscriber special, so hopefully you guys are uh, looking forward to that. It should be out tomorrow sometime. Anyway, guys, uh, stay safe. Like this video if you've enjoyed, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.